this is um, you guys, you guys can dive into this. I would recommend you take a screenshot of this. I'd recommend you write down these four steps. Again, honoring the partnership, nine core steps, they go hand in hand together. So what are the nine core steps? And you guys all outline pretty much all of them. You know, I know like um, Salad mentioned, obviously building your list, talking to people, you know, um, daily habits, you guys mentioned reading, listening, associating, coming to all the meetings, you know, obviously the technology, accountability. I know Jamal touched on that. You know, accountability and even um, communicating with your coach as well. I think Maya, Danica, you guys mentioned that. And then the one thing I, I don't think anybody mentioned, but obviously, which is also really, really important, is obviously volume and personal use customers, things like that. So now unpacking this, what we can look at is, is again, it's very simple how to become successful in this business. You just do the things that are within your control and allow those who want to follow you and want to build a team with you to do those things with you. You know, you can't teach somebody to do something that you're not doing, you know? So again, while you don't want to wait till all your chips get in a row to start moving forward, you do want to try to get your chips in a row as fast as possible. You know, it just makes sense to become more successful. So again, personal use, using your products. Again, that's just very simple common sense. I would recommend if you have money constraints, if you have money challenges, sit down and have a budgeting session with your coach and lay out your finances. I had to do that with Devon and RT, Vashon, Sonica, and Elaine. Like I said, I was about $40,000 or so, I guess, in debt. I can't remember the exact number. But within a matter of 12 to 18 months, I was able to pay all of it off through some of the business income, but also a lot of my job income, because I was able to make smart financial decisions with the help of my coaches. It gave me money to put in my ditto, and it gave me money to obviously have other financial goals you know, for myself personally. So I'd highly recommend that. Sit down and have a budgeting session. Again, if you're a professional, you have your money, you know, everything's good, great. You know, I mean, you might not have to. Again, it depends on your situation. But figure out how to do at least 150, 100 to 150 PV of personal use just through the products that you use. I mean, Arti and so many other leaders have great videos and there's so many audios about how to create volume just by transitioning some of your basic products like water, you know, soap, toothpaste, shampoo. Like, again, look into your bathroom, and if your bathroom has anything other than Amway products in it, then again, just transition those products, you know, that will give you a lot of PV yourself, and it's money that you already, you're already spending, it. you're already using that money, so start to redirect it, and then learn from your coaches how to develop some customers, there's so much money in developing customers, you know, so learn how to do it, I know somebody on the call, Sal, I mean, he's less than a week in business, already had, like, two, three orders from some of his family members and took off. I know Maya as well and Danica, and I'm just speaking for some partners on my team because those are the ones I know. But I mean, less than a couple of weeks in business and they're using Amway education, they're using the system and they're already making sales. I know Kaysen went 300 PV in his first month. You know, so obviously the ability to make customers is there. Again, it's just a matter of how much do you want to learn? How quickly do you want to learn? Because you can learn fast or you can learn slow. There's no right or wrong. It's just up to you. But learn, you know, figure out how to do 150 and then work your way up to 300 PV personally and work with your coach, personal PV and work with your coach on VCS, verified customer sales. This is super, super critical. You should be reporting at minimum, I would say 80% VCS in your circle. If you don't know what that means or you don't know how to do that, talk with your coach, go through some Amway education videos, but the amount of money that they're paying out for VCS is very, very high. So capitalize on it. Don't, don't lose out on money, especially your first couple of months in business. Those first few bonus checks being $200, $300, you know, in the first couple of months, it's possible if you, you capitalize on the, on the um, system. So again, ask your coach how to do that and make your money back. Get your $100 for BWW subscriptions out of the way and keep it, keep a profit of over 100 so that you don't even have to worry about subscriptions. You're making more money anyway. That's what I did, you know, but again, learn how to do it. You know, again, second, the third thing, like it says, is show the plan, show the plan, basically build a list, start to learn how to drop the message and start booking MG1s for your, for your coaches and mentors. Start booking MG1s. And again, this is where, again, a lot of huddle play huddle, different coaches have different strategies. So learn from your coach what they recommend because they're going to be working with you. But it's easy. Just build a list of everyone that you know, 50, 100, 200 plus people on your list. And just learn from the videos, the audios, how do you introduce it to different people? Certain people that you're close with, you talk to them a little bit differently than people that you might not be as close with. 
So again, learn how to do that. And again, there's so much material. Don't jump the gun and start talking to people without knowing what to say. Because again, there's a professional way to build this business and there's an amateur way. And if you start to say things that maybe you can't take back, there's nothing that your coach can do if you say something without the guidance of them. Again, that doesn't mean to not do anything and to pause your business, but check in with your coach before you do anything for the first time. Before you start talking to some of your friends, just ask your coach, hey, what would you recommend? I don't want to come off salesy. I don't want to come off as a pushing them to try to do this business. I just want to see if they're open-minded. How did you talk to your first few people or what would you recommend that I do? You know, like I was saying to Sal, what do I do next? Ask them that question. They'll give you adequate information on how to appropriately drop the message on a new partner. And it's so easy. You know, it's, it's so simple. I don't want to go into all that, but just learn from your coach. There's so much material. Just invest a little bit of time at educating yourself and you'll, you'll have a much better chance of sponsoring people than if you just try to do everything on your own. You know, so again, take action, but take educated action. And then obviously the last six are all about building you, you know, reading, listening, associating, you know, BMP, extreme, accountability, teachability. Again, diving into each of these, reading, it, it's a diff, there's a difference between listening, watching, sitting down on a meeting versus actually sitting there and reading a book. This was one of the di most difficult habits I had to develop. But through time, I started to develop them. Like these books on there, I know, I know it looks good and some people just put books in their background, but I've actually read every book that's in my, that's on there. You know, so it's putting the right information in and taking some time. You know, that was one of the things I remember really early on in business that my mom started to really see that I was serious about this business because I stopped sitting there watching TV with them and I started to go to my room and read. She was like, why are you reading? You know, and even though she wasn't as positive on the business in the beginning, she couldn't deny that I was developing better habits. You know, she couldn't deny that I was doing things differently than some of my friends were doing it. You know, and there's a great audio, Dear Mom and Dad, where Paul Miller talks about like, you know, talking about to your parents, you know, the fact that, hey, like you, your kid could be doing anything, you know, be happy that they're not out there, you know, running the streets and they're reading books and hanging around the right people. So Again, start to read, start to listen to audios. Again, you'll get so much information. I remember, again, another thing, RT, you know, RT is somebody who definitely has a huge impact on me and my business. She said something the other day um, on a huddle call where she was like, um, what did she mention? She said, I think she was talking to Taisha, another new partner. And she was like, imagine if you have business partners all over the country or all over the world. Would you want to be responsible for, let's say you have 10 people. Would you want to be responsible for every single thing that they learn every single day? You have to teach them everything and walk them through every little challenge that they go through. You wouldn't want to do that because your business would never be able to grow past five, 10 people because it would be another job for each person. So this is why we have the audios. This is why we have the videos that if you go through them regularly, you're going to learn things that your coach doesn't need to sit there and teach you the little basic things every single day. But if you can go through the information on your own, again, it's just proving the point that as you start to launch people, if they go through the same info, they're going to start to learn. They're going to start to develop their own habits and your business is going to start to be able to grow without you being there. But again, you have to start to be able to grow yourself without your coach telling you every little thing. Start to take ownership of it. At least take ownership of education. Again, it makes sense if you don't know how to sell products, you don't know how to talk to people to leverage your coach for that, but at least being willing to invest some time into listening and watching that's something you definitely have within your control, which is huge. Again, associating, being around the environment. I can't tell you how important the associations were for me in the beginning. I could not have been around the negativity that I was around on a regular basis and built this business because it's just too much. You know, if you're not around like-minded people, eventually somebody's going to start, you know, chipping away at your dreams slowly but surely. And eventually you're going to start to lose hope, you know, so that's why we have these weekly events, these monthly events, these, you know, yearly events like conferences, because they're big recharges. I look forward to these events every week and I can't wait. I'm so thankful that we're having the picnic for the people in the Northeast, you know, on July 10th, you know, because I can finally see so many of you guys in person, as opposed to just seeing you on a screen, you know, it's just so exciting. So associating, whether it's just a fun get together, whether it's just these meetings on a regular basis, plug yourself into these meetings, because the more that you come around, the more you're going to see the value. I mean, and I'm going to ask a couple of my partners at the end, why do they keep coming around? What, what is the reason why they, Kumpkin talked about it on the last board plan. Ask some of these platinums who have been in business for over three, four, five, six years. 
why are they still coming around every Wednesday, every Monday, you know, even though they have, you know, massive businesses and stuff like that, why do they keep coming around, you know, and they'll tell you, you know, because of the value that you can get here, you can't get this on a TV, you can't get this, you know, just by watching a YouTube video, you know, there's, there's more to it than that, as well as the relationships, which come over time. So that's huge. So keep coming to the meetings, um, technology that kind of goes back into obviously, um, you know, listening and reading, but again, BMP highly, highly recommend everybody, whether, you, you know, if you're honestly, if you're not an Eagle yet, even if you are an Eagle, you're doing the habits, but if you're not an Eagle yet, I would recommend doing your core run and sending it to your coach, because there's something that can be learned through the habits that you're doing on an everyday basis. And if you aren't where you want to be in your business, then you should be communicating with your coach and you don't have to send them a text every day or call them every day. Cause that's too much. But sending a short little BMP, like, hey, these were the messages I sent. Here's some of my takeaways that I had from the day. You know, that's super helpful for a coach because if there's no communication between huddle calls, what can they coach you on? How can we help you if there's no data that we get? There's, there's nothing that we can help you with. It's just, a, you know, we just hop on a call. Hey, how have you been this past week? You know, blah, 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 blah. But there's little value that we can add. Again, it's like that saying goes, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. The way that I know or any coach on this team knows if a student is ready is when they start to reach out to their coach without their coach having to reach out to them first. That hundred, I would write that down as a new partner. That was 100% what I did with Devang and Arti, Vishal and Sonika, Elaine. There was never a day, a week that went by where my group chat or my BMP was silent. Never in the past three years of being in business, you can ask them because I understood that if it's the squeaky wheel gets the grease. If I stop communicating, Bashal, Devang, and RTLA, Lane, they have businesses way bigger than mine. They have many more people to work with. If I stop communicating, what's, you know, they can't make me communicate with them. They can't make me want to do more. So if I don't take it upon myself to reach out, to utilize the information, to be accountable, what can they do? Bashal and Sonica have, have you have accumulated millions and millions of dollars, you know, and they'll show you it through some of the checks on their table, you know, through this business. But if I'm not willing to ask them or communicate, what is their, their, their knowledge means nothing to me. There's people that came onto this webinar and we'll never see them again because they're not willing to, you know, reach out and, and learn more. So don't be left. Don't be that person that has access to amazing mentorship and then doesn't utilize it. You know, again, there's periods of your life, maybe challenges come up, things like that, you know, do what you have to do. But I would strongly say, again, it was a non-negotiable for me. I mean, even today, every, every, um, even today, you know, there's messages in my group chat every single day. You know, even when I had nothing happening in my business, I was always looking to serve the team. I was always looking to do more because again, it just, it was just very simple to me. If I'm in their mind every day, my business will grow because they're going to help me grow. They're not going to let me have, they're not going to, I'm not going to be able to show them I want to grow. And they're going to say, no, we're not going to work with you. Anybody that shows anybody on any coach on this team that they want to grow by coming every meeting, talking to them on a regular basis, your business will 100% grow. Now, how fast it grows depends on what you do, but it will move forward if you do those habits. And that's what I would recommend every new person, even some people who've been in business for a while who aren't getting the results they want. Honestly, it's probably some of it has to do with the communication. You know, because without communication, it's difficult to dive deeper. Communication kind of goes into accountability and teachability. But again, same thing. Accountability, just being on webinars. If, again, if you're getting messages like, you know, hey, did you buy your conference ticket yet? You know, hey, did you, you know, are you coming to the PACE meeting, the this, the that? You know, if you're still getting messages like that, again, if you're new in business, you know, obviously you need to be told what to do because you don't know the, the routine. But if you're three, six, you know, 12 months in business and you're still getting messages like that, again, nothing's wrong, but that it should show you something in your mind that your, your uplines, you're still a question mark because they have to promote things to you. After a, a month or two in this business, Vishal and Sonica never had to promote any conference to me. First, like the conference that, that came out, the conference that you saw on the screen, first week that it's out, I get the ticket. I get the ticket. Now I'm waiting because there's three conferences. So I want to know if, if, if we have the green light to order all three, which I'm probably going to do, but I just want to, again, I want to be in, in harmony with my upline. But other than that, I buy my tickets months in advance. Why? Because I heard from an audio from Charlie Durso. I get my ticket so I can promote the event. I can't promote it to Sal or 
Maya or Danica or any other person on my team, or even again, Crossline, if I don't have the ticket, if I wait till the last minute and something comes up or I text my upline, hey, sorry, last minute, I couldn't buy the ticket. Again, nothing wrong with it, no shame. But again, you got to start to think, am I being accountable? Am I being teachable? And then again, another tip I would say is between huddle calls, when you're a you know, new partner or moving on in business, again, teachability. Are you doing what was talked about in the huddle in between each huddle? You know, because if you don't do it, I mean, again, nobody's going to be mean to you and nobody's going to be rude to you in this business. But again, if, if imagine if you were at work and your boss, you know, you have a status meeting and they say, okay, between now and next week, these are some of the things you want to get done. And then you come back the next week and your, your um, boss is like, hey, haven't heard from you in a week. Did you get anything done? Ah, uh, you know, my, this happened, my, that happened, this came up, that came up. How long would you be able to last in that job if that was the way that you approached it? You know, again, this isn't a job, so you can't get fired. The great part about it is you can always rebound. But again, think of this like a job. I mean, if you're new in business, how long would you have this job, quote unquote, if you did what you did here at your job? You know, think about that. You know, are you that, that leader? So that's what I'd recommend. And honestly, again, like I said, this is a policy. This was a policy that I made and it, I didn't make this day one. I made it relatively early, but within a couple of months, I made that decision that, hey, like there's no point in playing around with this. People are succeeding too much in this business for me to not just do basic, simple things, you know, and everybody's willing to help me. I might as well just do what I need to do. Just do my part. Because if I do my part, there's so many partners on the, there's over 82 people on this call. You know, you guys have obviously been on other calls with different leaders where there's so many more that are willing to help you. But you have to be willing to show them that you're worth helping. Because if you're not worth helping, again, what can they do? We can't make anybody go diamond. It's all a decision. You know, we can help. We can help you go Eagle or launch partners, but it has to be a mutual commitment. So again, I, I, Nanda had a really good talk. I think it's one of the starter packs on video. Rate yourself on these nine core steps. You know, take a screenshot go through it and put this up on like, I have a wall in my room in my office where it has all of the different things that I, that I want to monitor in myself. And I make sure I check myself. And if, and if I'm not growing in the business, odds are you look back at one of these nine things and one of them is lacking. One of them is a little bit lower than it needs to be. And all you got to do is a slight little tweak and that makes the difference for everything. So that's the thing is focus on building you, especially as a new partner. And then obviously start to take more ownership over building the business. As you move on again, I'm going to have some people come up and share in the next couple of minutes and kind of give from their perspective for the last 15, 20 minutes on what they would recommend and what they've been doing personally in their business. But that's what I would recommend is if you're new in business, focus not exclusively, but nine, 85 to 90 percent should be focused on building yourself and doing it consistently every single day. Allow your coach to teach you how to build the business. You know, again, if you're more ambitious, again, it, it changes from person to person. Talk with your coach. If you have the ambition to take more steps, to start making sales and start talking to people really, really fast, again, God bless you. Go out and do that. Learn from your coach and take as much action. But definitely, definitely, definitely do not skip out on building you because, again, the buffering situation. Load yourself so that you can load the business. You know, there will be no long-term growth without short-term development. You know, so, so that's what I would recommend. You know, and again, obviously, as you start to grow more, you can obviously build your um, start taking ownership over all aspects of business. Eventually, you want to be able to take ownership over everything. You want to be able to do every single thing on these on this slide more than 100 percent. You want to be able to do more than what the newest person in your business is doing, because if you do that, then you know that you're an, a rising leader in this team. You're a rising star and you're going to be really, really successful in this business. It's just going to be a matter of time. But this is the simplicity of it. You do this and you teach others to do this, you'll make millions of dollars like Bill Britt and all the diamonds and emeralds and people on this team just by doing this. You know, so much simpler than your job, so much simpler than school. But again, it's it's simple, but it's not easy. You got to do it. You just got to do those basic steps. So hope that that added some value. Now what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to bring up a couple of partners on my team to have them share with you. And um, I'm just going to ask them a couple of questions. So I'm going to go through and spotlight a couple of people and just have them share with you a little bit. So they already know some of the questions that I'm going to ask them. Um, Gal, Calvin, Janae, and then I'm going to bring up a couple of more people after this. 
to um, share as well. So um, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. So, okay. These are the guys that I want to share. I think um, you guys should be able to unmute. Yep. You can. So we'll start off with Jennifer. So again, the reason why I'm bringing them up just to give you guys some perspective is each one of them is, is moving on in business has, you know, obviously shown us that they're a rising leader on this team and going to be, you know, one of the key players and rising stars on the team. So I want them to share from you. They all have different backgrounds, different things that they're good at and progressing in. So I just want them to share from you so that you guys can maybe take something from them, you know, because all of them have something great to share. So I just want to have them give you guys some nuggets so that you guys can learn from, from other people as well. So first person I want to ask is Jennifer. So Jennifer Meza, she actually just, congratulations on graduating from Georgetown University um, within the past couple of days. So congrats on that. So Jennifer, um, so obviously you're young, you know, um, I think less, you know, so you just graduated. So like are in your early twenties, you know, but I've seen you since you launched into business, you know, a few months ago, one of the biggest things that I've noticed is that you've had a really great upline relationship with Carlos and Christy and Devong and Arti, you know, on obviously your communication and, and in your huddles and things like that. So if you could just share with some of the partners on the team, just for about a minute or two minutes, how has the upline relationship played a role in you, you know, especially as a younger partner and kind of solidifying yourself in the business and, you know, starting to move forward, you know, for yourself? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so I mean, hi, everyone. My name is Jennifer Mays, as John just said, uh, proudly launched by Christy, Carlos, John, Elaine. Um, Emeralds, Devang, and Artsy, and Diamonds, Vishal, and Sonica Jane. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, just to give a little bit of context, I would just say that I kind of launched um, around December and in the midst of finals. And I was definitely very excited just as the new partners um, and continuously always being excited and grateful for this opportunity. Um, and, you know, I kind of launched during finals, so I just didn't want to kind of wait. And I just like was like, let's go. Um, and so I was able to do my 30 day core runs. Everything was looking good. Um, and then it was around winter, so it was pretty timely. I had that little break going on, but then the next semester was approaching. I was going to campus, um, and so there was a lot of adjustment going. So I know there's a lot of new partners and a lot of students in this call. So I just want to say that obviously, like even if you're a student or not, there's going to be just a lot of adjustments that have to be made. Um, and so when I was going into that period of time, I just saw that this kind of relationship with Upline was definitely a 300. 60 degree mentorship, um, you know, with all of this communication in and out of the business. Um, so they were able to help me kind of see my blind spots, my strengths and weaknesses, um, kind of how to prioritize and the differentiation between prioritization and time management, um, you know, how to be very solution oriented. Um, I definitely had I had a different experience when I had like an entrepreneurship fellowship, which I wanted to um, quit. <laughs> I wanted to get out because it was um, intersecting with the cause or the business plans for here. Um, but, you know, I talked with my upline and said, look at what's short term and what's long term. And that was definitely short term. I mean, I was done with that. I was able to do pretty great in the project and everything. And I was able to actually gain some valuable skills, which were translatable to this business as well. So just got to look at it from different perspectives. And obviously they have a lot of more um, guidance and a lot of more experience because they've been in the business for much more longer. And I mean, Christy has been in it um, for a longer period of time. And then Arthi and Devon have been in it for a more longer time than them. So I think just really asking, asking away, not being, I think like how new partners were saying, just don't be fearful of asking questions. Um, and also really seeing where you have your control over, right? Like where you can really put your energy and time in. Um, I think that's always been useful. And with TTNs and things like that, um, you know, send those screenshots. I've been sending those screenshots left and right when I was beginning. So, I mean, all this to say really is that, you know, without the open lines of communication and trust with your upline, um, you know, I wouldn't have been able to really get the help that I needed in various areas of business in my and in my life. And so all upline really wants from us and from every from me and from every one of us is just to see growth, because with every huddle, every action, every word of wisdom, um, they just want to they just want to see us meet us where we are and just envision where we can be and who we can become. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was amazing mindset, Jennifer. You know, um, it definitely goes to show, obviously, your communication, your relationship has played a huge role, you know, um, and obviously you have so much growth coming your way. So super excited. You know, um, so the next person I want to bring up is um, is Gao Jones. So Gao down, um, you know, military man down in Houston, Texas. So, um, so I want you, Gal, if you could share with the team for, for, like I said, a minute or two and, and just kind of share about, you know, what was the key for you? So obviously you're a professional, 
you know, you've, um, you obviously have a lot of other businesses, you know, you have a couple of other businesses, but, you know, obviously you committed to this business really early on, you know, and um, even with the things that you have going on in your life, you know, if you could shed some light for maybe some of the professionals on the call, like what was the key for you that, that, um, you know, made you want to commit to this business, you know, um, even with all the other successes that you've already accomplished and things that you have going on? All right, good evening, everyone. Thanks, John, for the opportunity. My name is God Jones, based in the Houston, Texas area. I work in the oil and gas construction industry down here. Launched by Dawood Asano, my good old childhood friend. Uh, upline, Michelle and uh, Rayon Walton, John Prater. Uh, who else? We got Ellen Chicanino and then also Divine and IT and then besides Sonica Jane. John, for me, it was, I would say it started with the process. It started with the process that I went through to join the business and everyone else goes through. It wasn't just come in and sign on the dotted line, but it was the process about sharing knowledge to get through the process of saying, that mean extended and offer after I showed some commitment. And then after that, just my uplines, they weren't in to make a quick buck, right? It was people before profit. That was another sticking point for me. And then just the honesty, about what it takes to build the business was another aspect that drew me in. And then also, you look at each and every upline willingness to invest the knowledge, the time, and effort into me, building me into what I could get. Talk about that mentorship aspect of that. And then also knowing fully well, I could build this business in my spare time without disturbing my career until I can build it to an income whereas I can replace what I'm making my career and eventually switch over. So these are some of the key and important steps that made me commit to this business, right? And oftentimes I get out there as I travel to the US and for my company and teach. So I find myself going off script and I call it my Amway teaching, right? Because I'm taking things I've learned and knowledge and impacting it into some of the supervisors that I head out to the train talking about consistency, talking about starting and never quitting, accepting failure and feeling forward as you fail, not backwards, learning from your mistakes and never ever quitting and pushing things through and just having all the successful individuals week to week that tell their story on this business and seeing young individuals come through and I slowly building this business, just it had me commit, it kept me in and it keeps me coming back and pushing myself forward for more. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And just like you said, amazing mindset. I know military man, so just like Bill Britt, who was also in the military, like you said, and I think all those points are amazing. Like you had mentioned, it's just the consistent investment into us, the consistent mindset that we're given, like you said, it's like, once you get that investment into you, it just makes you want to obviously commit more to your upline. So thank you so much, Gal, for sharing that. I know, again, you're you're definitely rising on the fast track. I know you were a three and 90 qualifier and, you know, very soon going to be one of the rising stars on the team, like we saw um, in the slideshow. So super excited about that. And then, um, so yeah, so let's pivot over to Calvin again, where he can kind of share again for, um, you know, a minute or so. And I know, so, so Calvin, I know obviously we've met, developed a good friendship, and I know obviously you, one of the things that I've noticed about you, especially over the past, you know, many months at this point is your consistency with like the core run, and um, I know we've had many conversations about that, about how it's benefited you personally and you know, social media, your posting and stuff. So I guess if you could share with the team, like how has the core run benefited you? How is, you know, the consistency of that? How have you seen that not only translate to help in growing your business, like you had two candidates here today, which is great. And as well as how have you seen that even help you in some areas, maybe outside of the business? If you could touch on that for like a minute or so to help the, help the team. Sure. Thanks, John. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. All y'all, obviously, Calvin Benbury, John, y'all know the upline. Um, and honestly, consistency in the core run, um, over the last few months, I've been thinking a lot about something that's been in my head is like, I'm halfway there, right? Um, Rashal said something today where he said, the business works, you just have to be willing to work it. Uh, and so in a vision of being halfway there, I envision myself being on a bridge, right? Um, of my eyes, my halfway there, where I want to get to is say an MG1, right? You could be, you want to get a DTM, you want to get an MG1, you want to get uh, to 7,500. 
whatever it is that's all the way across that bridge, if you're halfway there on that bridge, that's because you're thinking about it. The next way to get the rest of the way is to take those steps and be consistent with it. Uh, it's due to core, not to core steps, to read, to listen to audios, to huddle with upline, to be consistent in everything that you do. Because when you stop, imagine what's under the bridge is water, it's rushing water. If you stop and it's like, all right, wow, there I go, I'm falling into the water. But if you look up and you see upline right there with you, they're reaching down, they got a hand up for you. You don't drown by falling into the water. You drown by staying submerged in it. So get out that water, get across that bridge. That's what you got to do. Um, being able to be consistent with it, it's, it's, it's awesome, especially once you start reading, especially once you start listening to the audios and actually taking something from it. Um, instead of listening to it just to get it past your day, no, listen to it so that you're ready to learn from something. Learn from the mentors that have gone before you because they're already there. And they're reaching down saying, come with us. Get across that bridge. Stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Because if you stop, then you won't understand what's on the other side. Once you get across the other side, you realize, that, okay, not only is my business growing, but so am I. And that's the most important thing, that personal growth, just being able to see yourself like, oh man, getting hit with all types of negativity from whether it be people were saying they don't want to get into business, whether it be family members and friends saying, oh, you might not be able to do it. You get across that bridge, you stay consistent, you're reading, the books are amazing. You're listening to audios, you're huddling with upline. It, it's a different type of feeling because no one understands that except for us, because we know where we want to be in life. You know where you want. You know what's across that bridge for you. So don't stop. Just keep going. Uh, being consistent and something that uh, I've always that I, I've read in the book. Let me say he was like, you can make excuses or you can make changes, but you can't do both. So continue to make changes in your life. Continue to add these steps to your day. Continue to do that because you don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. Who are you going to be when you get across that bridge? Definitely amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. That was an amazing mindset. I love I loved what you said as far as you don't drown by, by getting going into the water. You drown by staying submerged. And it's just like Bill Britt always says, keep on keeping on, you know, and you'll succeed in this business. You know, so that was that was amazing, Calvin. Thank you so much for sharing. And then um, Janae, um, so obviously Janae Jones, you know, so what Janae, if you could touch on for um for the team here, if you could just talk about a little bit. How have the associations, because obviously I remember when you launched in business and funny story, just a quick story about Janae is I remember her first meeting when she came to DC, it was just, it was just before we were in the pandemic. And you know how like we have new partners introduce themselves and, um, you know, virtually they, they, they um, introduce themselves on the screen. And I remember um, Janae first meeting and she was at, she stayed back for the training. And I remember when they started to introduce themselves, like we did this in person. And I remember Janae looked at me and she was like, I am not standing up and introducing myself. And to see where she's come from there to now, you know, um, launching people, three and 90 qualifier, you know, soon to be rising star. How have for you, how has the associations and the meetings, how have those played a role in your personal growth? You know, again, business-wise, but even, you know, personally, how has it helped you? Um, so, yeah, I'm surprised you even remember that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so hi, I'm Janae, uh, personally sponsored by John Prather, Upline, um, coaches and mentors, Elaine, Devon Ganarty, Vishal and Sonica. Um, so definitely um, in the beginning, pre-pandemic, associations kind of pushed me out of my shell, just being surrounded by people in person. Of course, um, we'll get back to that maybe soon, um, but um, definitely just pushing myself out of my comfort zone. And also I feel like associations, like when you hear the, the term, like you are who you surround yourself with, it's like you're surrounding yourself with positivity, nonstop positivity, encouragement, people who want to see you win, people, uh, people who are winners, um, so when, when you are surrounded by such positivity, um, it's like your mindset changes. Um, and I feel like even with these associations, like um, weekly meetings, um, board plans, trainings, pace meetings and things, they might be redundant. You know, they might talk about a lot of the same things each week. However, it's still building that knowledge. And I feel like when you're building your knowledge, you're building the confidence um, you know, about the, the business. You're building knowledge about the business. You're building that confidence 
um, to, to be able to speak about the business, to be able to build a, um, build a team, um, to be able to um, converse with people on the team, especially if you were shy like me. Um, and then once that confidence is built, you, be, you build a belief, um, your belief in yourself increases. You know, I feel like it all comes full circle. Um, and as far as like personal growth for me, just being some, um, immersed in all of this positivity, like I said before, it's just allowed me to see that there's a lot of young people like me who may have been shy or who've never done a business before, never been a part of such positivity, who are making it happen. And, you know, I'm not so far behind, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm learning every day, I'm learning every week. And, you know, it's like, you can do it. It's like, there's nothing to it, but to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Thank you for that. Like you said, obviously pushing yourself and just being around like-minded individuals like Robert Kiyosaki. I know that's one of the things he mentions in the book, you know, business of the 21st century is, you know, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals and, you know, growing yourself. I mean, I mean, that's the biggest key and, and you guys touched on it so well. Thank you guys. I, I hope um, I have a couple of more people I want to bring up and, and um, wrap up the training with, but I hope that they all, you know, I hope all of you guys took notes and added some value because these are definitely, you know, some of the next rising stars, rising leaders on the team, you know, and they're going to be the ones that are going to be showing the board plans and, um, you know, um, being recognized as new Eagles coming up very, very shortly. So thank you guys so much. And then the last two couples that I want to bring up, um, I'll spotlight them now just to wrap up with a couple of questions, Rayon and Michelle and Carlos and Christy. You know, so with that, so first we can kind of dive into um, to Carlos and Christy. So, so one thing, and, and you guys can take a little bit more time again, be cognizant, it's already 1030. So, you know, two, three minutes or so. But um, if you guys could, could dive in and just, and just give some tips to the, to the partners, because just to give you guys some background. So both Ryan, Ryan and Carlos and Christy, they both do, you know, over 300 PV every single month, if not more, like, you know, Carlos and Christy build the business separately, but I was just looking combined first day ditto. I think both of them together is like 700 PV combined, you know, individually split up between the both of them. And then I know Rand and Michelle consistently 600, 700, even upwards of a thousand PV every single month, you know, so these partners have not only honored the partnership, done the core habits, but they, you know, launched business partners. They've taken honoring the partnership to the next level and are, and are obviously leaders on the team and had some partners who just spoke, so I wanted them to come up and kind of wrap up this training to, to give you guys who are, you know, now you understand how to honor the partnership, but how do you kind of take it to the next level? And I want to give, give um, them a chance to speak because they're obviously ones in the hunt, you know, getting it done and, and our upcoming, obviously, leaders on this team as well, which is really exciting. So Carlos and Christy, if you guys could answer this question to, um, you know, what really pulled you, you know, because we already covered what honoring the partnership is and things like that. But what was the reason, what was the pull that got you guys to, be more than honoring the partnership to do more and what's one tip that you would give to a newer partner or somebody who wants to make that next move for themselves sure thank you john uh it's a pleasure and a privilege to be up here on the panel so we are carlos and christy everyone uh, good evening we are from rockville maryland coach and launched by john prather upline elaine shekinino founders emerald devong and arthi and founders diamond for sean sonica um so kind of two part question. So I guess the first part and like why, you know, we wanted to do a bit more than just kind of honor the partnership at the recommended level. Um, you know, number one, I think, you know, we'll kind of go back and forth, but number one, it's, it's what we've seen our upline do. And it's what we've seen basically lead to success. Um, and the reason, you know, we've obviously we went through the process and we we're fortunate enough to qualify for the mentorship. We know exactly what the terms of partnership are. We know what honoring the partnership means but that's kind of the bare minimum. Um, so basically in order to duplicate our upline success, we wanted to basically perform that partnership at a high level, just as we've seen them do as well. Yeah, and um, as far as doing more than what's recommended, we just feel that we're perfectly capable of doing more than the minimum. So we should help expedite our growth and get whatever answers we may need at any given time. So we listen to and read core runs on BNP of partners and leaders growing and duplicated what they've done. Um, and we're well aware and we've reflected that we aren't perfect. You know, there are days that we haven't sent our core run, but 
And although we know that the best growth comes through consistency, we found that we could always begin again, just like John had mentioned, as long as we're willing to put in the work and communicate with our mentors. So. Yeah. And then as far as the tip for any new partners, um, I think you guys have definitely gotten a lot of great information so far tonight. The one thing I would say, which is something that we've definitely had to work on um, just through the time you know, that we've been in mentorship and everything, is to not be afraid to communicate any challenges that you're experiencing, both inside and outside the business, whether it's personal, uh, professionally, job changes, whatever it may be. Um, what we've found through having those conversations and really opening up is that our coaches, you know, John, Elaine, Devong, and Arthi, and Michelle and Sonica have gained so much wisdom and knowledge in working with so many other people and helping them overcome tough situations that they've been able to impart so much wisdom and um you know basically thoughts and everything that we didn't have or perspective that we didn't have so that that's basically the biggest thing that i would say is don't be afraid to communicate challenges with upline yeah and don't be afraid of them judging you or anything like that like your uplines there to help you and um they may be able to help provide some more advice or tips that'll save you time and money and most of all the biggest thing that has pulled me to this business to go above and beyond is that I love my upline and I'm not afraid to say it. Like I love being around um, John, Devon, Arthi, Elaine, uh, Vishal and Sonica and just through the process and just this environment is like, I'm not afraid to say that I like genuinely enjoy being around them and it has truly helped us become better people. Yeah, so that pool just gravitates to- We wanna be know, everywhere that they are. Qualifiers <laughs> and everything and having conversations with them. Um, and they've been a tremendous help through everything. So definitely continue to honor, honor the partnership um, and communicate any challenges that you're experiencing if you are having them, um, as we found that that's been really helpful for us. Thank you, John. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. I mean, that was amazing. So many nuggets, too much, too much, too few, too little time to go through them. But you guys, just like you said, just the pull and, and the desire to just be with your uplines, I can definitely say I felt the same thing. And Obviously, I know that you guys are going to take that and, and really run with it. And I'm so excited to, to see you guys moving on in these next couple of months. And I can't wait to see you guys as new Eagles, Silvers, you know, in the very, very, very near future, which is super exciting. And so thank you guys so much. And then um, Rayon, last person I want to ask a question to, obviously, been there from, from almost day one, almost day one, you know, so you've seen, obviously, the ups, the downs and everything like that. And you know, obviously we've had a lot of fun, you know, just building the business together. So what's one tip, like I said, you've obviously from a, even like you said, professional standpoint, even with what you have going on, like you have a family, you have a, you know, other things going on in life, I guess, what is that reason that pulled you, you know, to not only, again, you're way over, you know, honoring the partnership month after month after month, like don't even have to worry about, like, it's almost like random, random Michelle, you know, thousand PV, take it to the bank every month, you know, just personally. So I guess what was that pull for you? Why did why did you choose to honor the partnership, you know, at such a high level? And then again, what's one tip that you would share to um, you know, new partners or even again, somebody who just wants to take the next step, you know, for themselves? Absolutely. Thank you, John, um, for the opportunity. Definitely humbled. Um, we are uh, Rayon and Michelle Walton in, uh, from Glen Burnie, Maryland, sponsored by John Prather, uplines Elaine Shakanino. Um, Founders Emeralds, Devong and RT, and Founders Diamonds, Vishal and Sonica Jane. Um, I, I guess for that question, two things kind of, you know, come to mind, right? So the first thing is faith. Um, and the second is evidence, right? So faith in knowing that, you know, just stay steady, right? And continue to do the work because that's really what it's all about. At the end of the day, all the trainings, everything that we go through, you know, in life, it's all about just staying steady, right? Because the rewards are coming. Right. If you if you continue to do the work, the, the rewards are coming and the blessings are going to are there. Right. So it it's the planting of the seeds and then the blessings will chase after you. Right. So that's really having that faith, knowing that these things are going to come to pass eventually. Right. And I was listening to one of the audios and I think it was um, um, Terrell Hardy that was talking about it. Right. So it was belief, having belief. Right. So belief versus hope. Right. And. Um, Gal, who spoke earlier, was talking about, you know, military experience. And, and of course, we both come from the same military background. And there was a saying in the Marine Corps that hope is not an action word, right? So, yeah, you can hope all you want to, but until you start doing what it takes, you know, nothing's going to happen, right? So 
I mean, belief is just the main characteristic. And, and I think that's, that's what drives us to take action and do the things that we continue to do, the things that we have control over, right? If we can do our PV, then that's what we have control over, right? So why can't we just do it, right? So that's just how we look at it from that perspective. And the second thing is, is um, I would say evidence, right? Just, I guess, knowing that we can see the fact that the business works, right? And we have access to that tangible evidence, right? Whether it's through us coming on these calls or if it's the BWW system, um, huddling with our coaches and mentors and just the years of legacy building from, you know, Bill Britt all the way down to, you know, everyone in our upline right now, right? So looking at it from that perspective and just knowing that the potential is there to enjoy and pass on to the next generation, right? So those are like the two things that kind of come to mind when, when, um, when it comes to that question. And I think one tip um, I would say for anyone looking to move forward is, you know, it's like we always, Michelle and I always um, say this to ourselves with, um, with all the challenges that we have going on, you know, it's like Peggy Britt would always say, do something, do a little something for your business every single day, right? So if we can't get certain things done, as, as long as we do something, to push ourselves towards doing something that's going to change, you know, the way our business looks in the next week, month, or year, as long as we continue to do that, the breakthrough is going to come, right? So um, we know that's going to happen. It's just a matter of timing and putting in the work, right? So the we never know the next person we share our story with, that could be our next Bill Britt, right? We, we never know, right? So it's just continuing to, to go down that path and, and doing the work. So that's what I would say. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Rand, for sharing that. And, and definitely hope, hope Michelle, like you said, she's getting better. So excited. And um, I think, that, like you said, you just mentioned the faith, the evidence, and just being willing to do the work. You know, I know Bill Britt used to always say, do the work one whole year without seeing anything happen, and your business will explode for the next decades and decades to come. And, you know, that's obviously, I can see you guys doing that work. And can't wait. I know you guys are, are knocking on the door at, um, at Bhattacharya Go Diamond. You know, I know you guys have your eyes set next couple of months to get it done and, and join us up there in Pennsylvania. So excited about that and excited to see the growth. And thank you guys so much for, for sharing. Um, you know, and um, I think that pretty much sums it up. I mean, there's not really much else to say when it comes to um, obviously, you know, any more tips or things that I can do. Like I said, what I would just say is just keep it very, very simple. Keep the business very simple and duplicatable. And if you do the best you can do every single day, then you guys will definitely for sure, you know, um, hit all the heights that you want. And one last thing, I want to surprise um, a couple on the call, you know, so I'm going to spotlight them real quick. So if all of you guys could unmute yourself because it's actually Vishal and Sonica's anniversary. So if you guys can unmute yourself. Yeah. Happy anniversary. 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 Happy anniversary, Vishal Sonica. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy anniversary, Vishal and Sonica. Happy anniversary, Vishal Sonica. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Vishal Sonica. Oh, wow. 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 Happy anniversary, Michelle and Sonika. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy wedding anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. All right, blow the candles. Thank you. Blow the candles. Make a wish. Make a wish. One, two, three. Yo! <laughs> the cake is on fire. <laughs> I wish we could offer you guys this cake, but <laughs> no, no. But soon. I'm glad you guys are virtual. Otherwise, you would have eaten my cake. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yes, yes. But with that, thank you guys so much for the amazing training. Happy anniversary, and I'll pass it back over to. Oh, we gotta stop recording. Oh yeah.